Hi everyone, welcome. This is the Chinese All Stars Tournament Final. This is the first game for the final. Four players from the top of the group stage made into the final instantly. The other players who played the revival playoffs have made it for the top. The top four players have made it into the finals. So we'll be looking at some regular players. I have checked this replay. There was a little difficulty with the display of the interface. So right now we won't be able to see the interface until 10 minutes into the game. So that's something I checked first. And after that, what we'll be seeing is we do have the green hair player who is a very famous player in China. He did find two accounts to top 10 in the world. And we do see a lot of familiar faces. There's 8,000, there's a little ducky, there's chess fan. So this is 8,000, chess fan is the current world number three player. This is Lilith, if you guys remember her. She is actually in the group stage with Chess Fan, but she was the top player. This is Kyo, by the way. We do remember Kyo running some incredible strong knights against Chess Fan in the last game in the playoffs final. This is the arm um, the little ducky. The difficult part is not being able to see the players on the side for the first five to 10 minutes, but eventually they will show up. The tournament organizer had the difficulty because one of the players did not use the right account. This is Hakuru. Hakuru is a player that came first in his group stage. We didn't get the cast for him, but well, let's see how he plays as well. We'll be focusing on the particular choices of players of units in the early game. We do see multiple Joringers and we see Goblins. Joringers allows the hunt opening. This is the green hair player, by the way. The green hair player is very famous in China and he did play very well in the his group stage to come first in the eight people group stage. Lilith is having warriors and she's also having goblins. We do see 8,000 top rolling the clockwork at this round. Notice how here even the layout for the game is different. You see this is saying round one, but this is not round one because the colonial organizers do not have the interface properly for the start. We're waiting for the games Yes, we're waiting for the game of the round 3 to start. Here it still says round 1 over here. This will be fixed very soon. And please, please stay tuned with me as well. And we want to see is what items do the players find. And meanwhile, chess fan here found multiple items. So did Lilith. Interesting. Let's have a look at other players. Is that a 2 star ogre? That's a 2 star ogre I believe with kill. Or maybe that's a 1 star ogre that's buffed up by the... That's buffed up by the Bloodlust. I'm gonna put this round four. Going to round four, I'm the little ducky have some of the weakest openings. You can see all one star units and the green hair player have the basic three goblins. This is the green hair player. Three basic goblins have a great chance of winning compared to any other one star unit in the game because of the goblin nano buff. Nano buff, buff allows the goblins to have armor and health regen and it's a random unit. So it's key when the unit that's tanking have the buff. We do see Lilith going with the Knights. 8000 has the Goblin as well, but he has the 3 star or 2 star Clockwork, which is incredibly strong. Feel free to let me know in the chat guys, what do you think is a strong lineup in the, in the early builds and why do you think that is quite strong. Now, looking over here, we can see that there will be a few players coming to the leaderboard with the win for the first round, usually four players to win. It is a little awkward that we can't see the interface for now, and that should be fixed in about five minutes, I believe. We see I'm a little ducky picking up Undead with a two star Joringer. That's an incredible find. Most likely he will go into Hunters or, on, or Knights with Undead. Notice players are favoring the Anti Mage for the offensive and defensive purpose. Here, 8000 went to level 5, we can see. Five units on the board. And what we're looking for is how many players that goes further. Notice that he picked a juggernaut. Two reasons for this. A frontliner that takes a goblin buff is better than a backliner like the assassin. Here the best frontline took the buff and that's clockwork. No one will be killing this clockwork because he's level two, he's got the nanobot and he's got the mercury gen. And that clockwork is very solid. And you can see that he won convincingly. Here we go. We found the interface finally. I can introduce the players for you guys. On the top of the leaderboard is our friend Hakuru, followed by Chess Fan 638, which is the world number three player. Right now, Chess Fan is on the top of the leaderboard, followed by 8000. 8000 is using one of his queen accounts. 
You guys might be wondering why are the players not using coin accounts? Because tournament organizers allow them to not use their main account, they can use alts here. A lot of players do have alts which are in the queen or rook region. Because players have such a high queen account, it's too devastating and too pressure, too much high pressure for them to lose their accounts. That's world number three. That's why they allow for that. So chess fan followed by the on, and on top of the leaderboard is chess fan 8000 kill followed by 666 hakuru i'm a little ducky lilith and the green hair player the player of focus will be chess fan for being a world number three player and also the green hair player who played extraordinarily well in his group stage he played a force for losing streak god's mage he also played multiple different classes very well the players that made into the finals that started with the revival playoffs is chess fan 8000 kill and i'm not i'm a little ducky the other four players actually came into the finals by coming first let's look at the player composition right now after introducing the players this is round seven we do see 8000 going with assassins still a heavy favorite in most matchups when there's one or two assassin player they are quite strong simply for their ability to find three and six assassins and also punishing players for not having a solid backline protected we do see everyone's on zero points over here this is the first game of the finals after this game players will be on from zero point to eight points coming last give you zero point coming first give you eight points coming second is six points and third is fifth five points we want to see what are the early game pickups players can find we do see this is an undead with Razor and two star Trim Protector. Players start to favor stronger early game units like a two star Druid, are also Elementals and Undead. And this is very close to most players' choice as well. Sometimes they do go into Knights, Warriors, and Hunters. Because Knights are easy to find as two and four, Hunters are easy to find as three, and Warriors are easy to find as three as well. We do not see a lot of Goblins now because Goblins do not fare well in the mid game. You can see a dominating goblin in the early game then he needs to transfer into goblin mage and top row the goblin mage with oh lilith here are you guys seeing this i was wondering if she will put down the axe if she does not put down the axe that means she wants a losing streak a goblin mage needs to find the goblin techie as well which is a very difficult thing for most players in the late game because it's all about rng having seven legendaries the rng can be really hard this is i'm not a little duck i'm a little ducky he has two star juggernaut two star luna and the joringer but he did face a goblin i wonder who can win the luna needs the tank to survive here as long as the juggernaut survives long enough she will take care of everything <laughs> the tiny's like nope <laughs> oh the luna still does it because of the bounce damage massive luna pickup over here luna's bounce is physical with on dead it's amplified by 17 percent with all the bounces which is a lot of damage Let's look at the gold and the position right now. Chess fan is the 100% win streak leader. The green hair player is the losing streak player with their economy as well. As well. Very interesting. There's players with 10 gold already. This is round nine to the game. Likely we'll see a lot of players going to six. Green hair player goes to chess, six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Everyone almost, everyone goes to six, I believe. Is this player going to go to six as well, Hakuru? Let's see, he is not going to 6 for now. So he is the only player that did not go to 6. Everybody else go to 6. If you guys want to know, level 9, level 13, and on curve level ups. And sometimes win streak leader do level off curve by leveling earlier to protect the win streak. And talking about goblins, we do see a few goblins still in this stage of the game. And I think kill is going to goblin mages. Interesting though. Goblin Mage do exert dominance in the early game with goblins and mages in the mid game. It's a late game when the knights become mature and the warrior beast and everything else becomes mature and that's when they can't deal with the other lineups. Thank you so much Modpiv my friend for the for the bit support. So what we want to see is how does each player play at this stage. There's two things they can do. One is to start a losing streak over here like like the green hair player and hakuru and go into economy another way to do it is to keep spending and be aggressive the chinese matter tend to be more aggressive and then level, on round 10 we see two extremes why is that the player have no gold oh the other extremes that players have multiples of 10 20 gold and 10 gold over here 
the off chance the player do not have the 10 gold, that means they either very greedy on the matchup for the board here, over here. This is the green hair player. The cast is showing you how many pairs you got. <laughs> he's just like me, guys. That's why I love him. <laughs> it's like his favorite economy. He's favoring potential so much, he's got multiple pairs. The moment he pick up those pairs, guys, he'll be a different player. So, thank you so much, Dragon. Casa Plus for the follow, my friends. This is Hakuru. Hakuru here is one of the weakest players at this stage. He is starting a losing streak. He is going for elemental majors by the looks of it. He is quite weak, but he is a force to be reckoned with in about 5 rounds because he'll be punishing players that's not ready fast enough. This is 666 here, 666 here, triple six, I'll call him that, <laughs> can't repeat enough six. So we do see, ooh, messages. Yeah, I have turned on the notification for YouTube to answer all the comments. Whoever sends comments, I'll be answering all the comments and all the questions on YouTube. We do notice the power of the two star Luna with Undead here. Incredibly strong because of the bounce damage and physical damage that's amplified. And with a solar lineup over here, I'm not I'm a little ducky, it's gonna push further and further. His curry is quite massive, he will be flying soon, I believe. What we do notice here is two players having a hundred percent win streak. That is very scary. Once they get to round 15 and plus, having a hundred percent win streak would take them really, really far. Then it's basically the world is the oyster. They can go anywhere and they can take almost any build as long as in the meta. If they take a random build that's not in the meta, they might still lose. We have seen that in the last game of the revival finals as well. Hakuru did find a two star Beastmaster. That should help him protect a bit of health, but he is still going massively with the losing streak. Notice that the difference between gold over here. The green hair player is on 20 gold and Hakuru is on 32 gold. Also, the difference is wine's level 6 and wine's level 5. What that's gonna mean is it's gonna take more gold for Hakuru to come back into maturity. But the funny thing is, he actually won here. That's not what he wanted, definitely not. I think the cast is following him for that as well. By winning here around 12, he actually sets him back in terms of economy because he sacrificed so much health for that particular loose streak. What we do want to see is the player's choice of gold in terms of economy. At level 13, it's uncurved for players to be aggressive. We can see kill here instantly went to level 7. He even rolled a bit, I believe. Also, 8000 went to level 7. Level 7 with chess fan. <laughs> level 7. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like the cold time for all the Chinese players to start leveling. We can see the bottom three players are not leveling because they know they're not stronger even when they level. Rather, they want to have some economy as a comeback potential. That is, we said we saw that guy have 100% finish last yesterday in a tournament cast. He didn't transition well at all. That's right. The player with the 100% around round 15 did not transition well because he went into gods. But instead of picking Crystal Maiden, he picked a two star Lycan, I believe. Because Lycan is also human, he couldn't have Crystal Maiden. He sold his two star Crystal Maiden, and things went downhill from there. But that was an epic game. I don't think that much that's much of a spoiler because the game was epic at the end. Definitely check that that game out, guys. One of the best games in the tournament so far. We are seeing multiple, multiple assassins again. Chess fan is one of the win streak leader that just lost his win streak. He is going for assassins. And <laughs> the green hair player is one of the bottom player in the losing streak. He is also going for assassins. He's having multiple pairs. Triple six is going for assassins. So three assassins so far. Let's see how many more we can find. I like the way Hakuro is going with ele elemental mages. His downfall is the way assassin can take him out at this stage of the game. But maybe in a few rounds, when he finds two star mages, he will be a force to be reckoned with. I'm not too happy about how our green hair friend is in the down downward. Sorry, he's seen the losing streak and he's going for assassins. That means unless he top rolls massively, his units are denied by two other players. So notice here the green hair player did lose again simply because he couldn't find enough two star assassins and also it's going to be increasingly harder when two other players are finding them as well. It's like the other players don't even have to 
forcibly deny him. They just deny him because they want those units as well. So, hey there, Xin Han Lo. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Great to have you joining us. This is the first game of the finals tournament for the Chinese All Stars. We have lots of familiar faces. We have the green hair player and world number three chess fan over here. There is one player that has the win streak right now, 100% win streak, which is which is cool. After round 15, he will take it away. He might even go to level 8 at round 17. Let's have a look if that's the case. I'm really focused on Hakuru as well, who started a losing streak, who is going into the elemental mages. Notice that even when he goes to mages, a 2-star beastmaster is such a good pickup. Massive damage, very low CD. He did find a voice tone as well. Oh gosh, she's, <laughs> this is the green hair player. <laughs> this is the worst moment when you actually face the wolves and actually do this to you. Like, no! Because <laughs> what that means is the wolves will actually take your health because your units did not focus properly. Notice that the green hair player transitioned out of assassins, I believe. Did you guys see that? Perfect transition. This is what I say as well. You really do want to transition out of things because there's multiple people picking it. And if you're the weaker one, you're going to suffer massively. Look at how much he's spending, guys. He spent all his economy around 16 because he knows next round is when everyone powers up. So he's going to actually spend before that. I like the way he's playing it because if we wait a little further, the players who are in the upper side of the leaderboard is going to punish him massively. Oh no, he found an assassin. That butterfin is going to melt. <laughs> butterfin melted in two hits, but the great axe positioning actually might help him win here. The cast is also focusing on him. Now the difference is can the Laundry summon? That's gonna be a massive difference maker. Okay, Laundry summoned. The clockwork should finish the rest of them. Perfect. There, there you go. Very, very nice done. And look at that transition. He saw three assassin player. He changed out of assassins after the round 15. I feel that's the last moment you can change. He did change into mages though. We remember there are two mages there, which it's not the best changing, but it's okay. Enter G said, is this a live game? This is a replay cast, my friend. The game has already been played, but because it is in Chinese, I'm recasting it in English. Kyo is a goblin mage. Goblin mage is the reason why he had such a commanding lead, but he did lose his streak on round 16. He's no longer 100%. That means he will definitely not go to level 8. I think he might have went to level 8 if he was higher, if he did have his streak. Higher in terms of income, income that's what I'm just saying. <laughs> now we remember there, I'm not a little duck, I'm a little ducky is still using that Luna to effectiveness. But the downside is, very soon the Luna will be falling off and other builds will be maturing. By other builds I mean mages, and after the mages it's assassins. Knowing that there's one less assassin player, the other two assassins are going to enjoy so much more in the pool because the green hair player did sell all his assassins. We can see six elves. This is the elf assassin by chess fan. This is the alternative branching with assassins simply because assassins need tanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Around 18, 3 star queen of pain. <laughs> okay. We, we caught up and on the perfect place as well. This is. Chess fan, the world number three current player in the world. <laughs> That's why he's number three in the world, guys. This is top-notch challenge for him, all right? <laughs> in comparison, this is triple six. He still have one star queen of pain. <laughs> he just look at chess fan, it's like, what am I doing here, guys? <laughs> the green hair player is like, That's why I transform a lot of assassins, buddy. Because <laughs> I saw that right through. <laughs> and chess fan can't wait to show him his new, like, Ferrari with <laughs> queen of pain. Here he's riding a motorbike with the Queen of Pain, and it's a 3 star Queen of Pain. She follows by clearing all the units here. She's almost 100% in health. <laughs> yeah, she took him down easily with that. What we want to see is how long can Chess Fan with that 3 star Queen of Pain maintain his lead, because Assassin needs lead. Without a lead in health and without a punishing in health, to other players, assassins will fall off in the late game. When there's only one or two of you, players can adjust against you. The good thing about assassins is that they punch you, punish you so much with health that you're so low on health, a few lucky crits can end the game for you. Also, the level 40 chores can help as well. Notice the conquer position, guys. He is scared of assassins. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he put one more in the back. But yeah, he found the assassin. And this is a weaker assassin. Not as a conquer, he's tanking for one of his back lines. The Shadow of Indic cast. The next thing was the... Whose boat is it? It's actually his boat. So the Shadow of casting means minimal damage will be received or even he might win the round. He's actually dead <laughs> because of all things showing too much skills. This is when the Assassin spikes up. This is when the Mage spikes up. What we'll be seeing is a lot of players here, especially in the bottom five, will be punished massively by the Mage Assassins. This is 8,000. He is also an Assassin. I was terribly wrong. There was four Assassins in the game. This is why I want the green hair player did God of Assassins. So yes, Shin, Shin Han Lo says Queen of Pain round 18, that's right. <laughs> and that is what said, I had a 3 star Queen of Pain around round 18 earlier today too. I wasn't even an Assassin. <laughs> you were just making the Assassin player feel more jelly, right? <laughs> yeah, the Queen of Pain is such a good unit. You don't need her to be an Assassin to make her effective. Because her correct positioning allows her to splash all the short cooldown splash damage with her spells onto the enemy tanks as well. By being a by being a demon, she enjoys the double dip of demons, gaining mana and doing true damage. So she is always a unit to be scared of, even in an assassin lineup or even in a mage lineup. Route 21, anyone going to 8 here? 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, <laughs> 5 8. <laughs> okay, everyone and their friend went to level 8 at Route 21. This is the aggression of the Chinese matter. I think they are so used to the aggression that they are not saving 250 gold. This is one thing I like to say, is that players see the 30 gold as the new 50 gold. Because the difference is 2 gold, but the difference in terms of unit rolling is massive. Because you have 20 gold to roll for your units, you can find more 2 stars and actually punish players for those that are greedy enough to save up to 50. This is when mages fight mages, <laughs> it's all about the nuke damage. That boat is gonna take the enemy home, oh my gosh. This is Hakuru, by the way, the elemental mage who started a losing streak. Notice here, I said earlier that the assassins would come into power. The player um, Alitodaki found the assassin player. He was the lunar player that was winning convincingly in, in early rounds as well. It's likely at least two of the assassins will die very soon because there's still three assassins. The green hair player found the techie. <laughs> he is denying the tech goblin mage player, which is Kyo. Kyo cannot find the techie, but once Kyo finds techies, he will be unstoppable. Ooh, 8,000 found the long druid. There goes the three star train protector and also a long druid. Two star long druid, that is. Yes, escapist, my friend, welcome. It is the finals. Interesting how you pronounce my name. <laughs> my name sounds like. Kasram, Kas low. <laughs> I can't pronounce properly, my friend. And yes, that's definitely one of my weakness. Look at the mages. This is the strength of the mages in the late game. And when the mages do get a few spells off, this is incredibly strong because they burst you down so much, you actually lose a ton of health. I would think 8 health is okay. Sometimes with a beast mage, you lose up to 16 or 20 health. Lilith found the task to 3 star. The downside is she's using a lot of 1 stars. She's going to draw deep, I believe. What she will be looking for will be... Uh, next tree, what can she look for? She only has 3 warriors. That's another warrior. She's not positioned for the assassins, I believe. Although the Deuce is nicely positioned. The backline is quite squishy. Let's see how she fares. She's level 8 with 10 gold left. And she has 3 pairs. Caster's following her as well. She's facing assassins. Yeah, this is what I said about the positioning. It's great positioning for the Dusa, but everything else is too squishy. That poke from the coin of pain might win Lily to the game. <laughs> that red and jab onto the Dusa means there was a solid 2.5 seconds of stun to all the assassins. <laughs> Their friends like, why did you hit her, buddy? <laughs> it's just one poke, not even two. And because she didn't critical, the Dusa got the perfect mana for casting. No one lost here. Look at this, guys. Only person that lost this 8,000 lost losing to chess fan. And that's over here. What that means is players are really spiking up. And it's going to be interesting with the matchup. We can see six players being very low, two players being very high. It's likely chess fan is going to battle out with Armin Jodaki. 
which is the player with the top row of Luna in the early game. So it looks like it's going to be knights versus hunters maybe, or at least it's going to be undead with Lutodaki here. The mages are trying to scrape a top 3 position. This is what the mage is best with, by coming top by doing massive damage to players at this stage. <laughs> but not when you find mages against mages though. That techie is positioning the back to defend against the assassins. If you saw my hunter guide, the techie can be great help because of the best damage. You saw over there, even by in the back, he did massive damage. This is when Hakuru actually lost. And this is the green hair player with the techies. Oh, that keep of light needs to get fired. That old, that old man needs glasses, guys. <laughs> a draw? It is a draw. <laughs> he missed the first wave, but he did it with the second wave. So we still love Gandalf. This is the Goblin Mage. Notice all the money sitting on the bench that he couldn't find techies. Kyo was the leading player. He has fallen because he can't find techies. Two ways you can do things. One is level to level 9. The other one is to roll deep. If he rolls deep, he needs to find the clockwork and he needs to find the razor as well. So this is the awkward position that you're so dominating with goblin and mages in the early and mid game. In the late game, if you don't find techies, it's all over for you. Now, if you remember correctly, this was Little Ducky. He had the Joranger and Undead with Luna. He transformed into chores and Undead Knights. What is going to happen is the top two players will be looking at each other, trying to counter each other, and trying to prepare for each other for the late game. The rest of the players, those two are trying to make to the top four, while those four will be trying to make to the top five or even go further. Biggest problem with all the players here, everyone's alive. Oh my god, that's a South Coast tree. <laughs> 8,000 fun, a South Coast tree. And this is a nice production. This is a round of power spikes. We want to see is if players find that this is a tide hunter. That's a lich. If players find legendaries or units like Long Druid, Long Druid was passed. That that prophet and a Long Druid, conquer Dragon Knight. Players are gonna spend a lot over here because this is the power spike round. Being on round twenty six means a lot of players are gonna die before they make it to thirty one. So this is gonna be a heavy spending round. Look at this. Green hair player has zero gold. Chess fan and I'm a little ducky rolled down to 30 gold, the new 50, remember? Kill has 20 gold, and player down here doesn't have much gold except Lilith, who is actually very ambitious with her gold. Hakuru lost massively to the counter to mages, which is knights. And players start to lose because everyone's spending massively. Rero can I know escape is very nice Rero can. We love the production from the Chinese casters, really great effort. And because of this production, that's why they had a delay in the earlier stage of this game to set up all that production. I think they probably had eight players viewing different players from a uh, observer point of view. I'm not sure how they're doing this as well. Really nice though. We do notice people are scared of assassins. Wow, Chessman picked up the Tide and the Zeus. Guess what the Zeus is for? Zeus is just here to punish players with health because he wants to end them fast. If they do find the crucial techies and other units, it's not good for him. So Zeus is gonna be massive. Zeus found kill and kill did not like this at all. <laughs> oh gosh. If that Zeus survives, it's gonna hit kill at least for three additional damage. And kill might die here. Oh, 17. And notice how here the assassins wants to punish player. They don't want players to get to the later stage. And that's a South Coast tree. <laughs> that's why Akuru lost again. Oh, poor guy. The item pickup is going to be very, very strong for late game players because as players die, they collect more items. <laughs> Look at that positioning. That tree is like, I smack anyone that comes close. He <laughs> found the enchantress. He sold the enchantress. <laughs> and remember, guys, after one player has left the assassin free, there's still ass three assassins. Chessfan is by far the strongest assassin, and he took back the Zeus, by the way, because he found the three star enchantress. Zeus is not that strong with other mage lineup with mana region. He also misses his spells half of the time, if you guys didn't know. His AoE spells will miss 50%, will guarantee one land, but the rest of them have a 50% chance of missing. Look at that tide, that's not all the units here. This gives the mage a little time, but the other downside is that Zeus are also returned the stun. In comparison, the knights are much tankier than mages. That's why knights are better in countering mages. 
Unfortunately, our losing streak player, Hakuru, did die here. He had a great chance as well, but there's too many mages. We remember the green hair player transformed for assassins to mages. What a great call for him. Not so great for other mages players though. Look at that assassin lineup. He basically spells out, I want to pull you into me. And triple six did not find any Queen of Pain after Chess fan found the three star Queen of Pain at level at round 16. He's so jelly, I bet you. He's like, why you take all the Queen, buddy? <laughs> well, we have a change of positioning. Look at that. He moved the trees. <laughs> no, he's he's contemplating. He's like, should I go forward or should I go backward? Let's see 8,000. 8,000 is the players at risk right now. Remember kill the top player before? Without finding techies, he's so much in trouble. Now, that Dusa is going to spell death for him if she cast. She did cast and this is pretty much over for the first assassin player. He does have that Salt Curse. Let's see the Christmas present with that splash of gifts. See, sometimes items are great, but here items going to help him. He dropped zero items, by the way. I'm not sure how he did it. The soft curse was not dropped and not split to the players. We can see here, this writing says he dropped zero items. Which I was looking for assault curse pieces as well. Now, six players remaining. One assassin, one goblin mage, and Lilith is the warrior, I believe. Lilith is the warrior. The green hair player is the mage. That's a elite mage, utility mage. Why does have the task here? The task is for the three warriors. Interesting. He actually took back the techies. Oh, that's right. This is a neutral round. He wants armors for three warriors. Techies can't help him here. Notice players even adjust for the neutral rounds very creatively. Usually I'll have the techies say just hope he survives. But here, he actually changed his setup for that. That's a three star timber saw, guys. <laughs> he sold all his goblins. He's giving enough. Kill is giving up fully for the Goblin Mage. Basically, he's like a weaker mage. If I remember correctly, this is the Troll Knight for the second position as Little Ducky. And lastly, Chess Fan is the top rolling assassin. Yeah, the. We, I did not think to do that as well, the Lizards. I didn't think, you know, the armor was pretty incredibly strong against the Lizards. Because of that, he even put down a one star task for that. So, looking over here, the techies and the positioning of the conquer is here for the assassins. And let's see if the techies can place a bomb before assassins take him. The crystal maiden is going to be a big help if she doesn't die. This is why I say we can counter assassins with techies as long as he possesses place a bomb. It's going to be massive. He put it down. Let's look at the damage. There you go. Everything died. Did you guys see that? Before the caster moved away, I think the caster saw that as well. Like, don't bother looking, it's already secure for him. <laughs> I think the green hair player will not lose here, let's have a look. Oh, green hair player won with 3 remaining units and triple 6 died. So what that means guys, and also Q died, the goblin mage died as well. So, out of the assassin player, 8000 was an assassin, triple 6 was an assassin, Hakuro was a mage, and Q was a mage. That frees up mages and that frees up assassins for the remaining players. Knowing how strong chess fan is with the maid, with the assassins, he'll go even stronger. Notice Lilith is a player that didn't join the free of, you know, that's our pick knights, that's our pick assassins. She went with warriors and she went with the correct composition to stay on top with top four. Top four players are warriors, mages, knights, and assassins. Notice no collusion is made. Usually the weaker counterparts of the class is already dead. So now it's going to be an epic showdown of the four choices of builds. And what I do think is the problem with the bottom two players, they have such a low health. And if they find a matchup like this, they'll be punished severely. And there you go. The green hair player actually died. He came fourth in the first round. And Lilith did survive. Oh, chess fan lost massively 20 health to the troll knights. Okay, okay. This is going to be interesting. The troll knights is the biggest counter for chess fan because how much health you have and how much economy you have. Both on oh I was gonna say both are on nine, but chess fan went to ten. He's like no bro <laughs> you did beat me once but not again. I'm going on to ten with assassins. If I remember correctly, most assassins do go to stay at eight to level units to three star. But here chess fan did something different. He went to level ten at round thirty three. 
also his counterpart, the knights found a three-star Chaos Knight. So this thing's gonna get crazy very soon. Oh, he sold the... Let's see. He had a level one draw. Still level one draw, guys. <laughs> now Momo, you still have a level one draw just for the undead. But the downside is he's facing a knight. Knights have way too much armor. If the knights have the RNG of armor, Lilith will not be able to do much support. On the other side, if knights don't have that much armor, without the procs, knights won't do much. But that's the three star Chaos Knight. Can she make it? She didn't make it. Okay. Only two players remaining. Very quickly, we did see the green hair player and Lilith dying to the top two. This is what I say when they look at each other, they want to find the correct matchup. This is 75% health to 36%. But this is the knight versus assassin. Ideally, knights will counter assassins, but this might not be the case when there's so much HP disadvantage. We are one lunar, one bat rider away from something magical. We found a lunar. No time. He cannot put down the lunar, unfortunately. That might cost him. Notice he put the necromancer there to sell him on time if he was shot on time. He found the Lunar, but the downside is, oh, that Tide took a massive chunk of the control. And because of that, the Queen of Pain is actually just going wild in the back line. <laughs> no one bothered with the Queen, right? And the biggest difference between Chess Fan and any other Assassins is that he's an Alpha Assassin. Notice they're trading health because they're like reverse matchups. Maybe one the Tide did it, the other one Tide did not do it. Chess fan is not your 6 assassin, he is your alpha assassin. Because of that, a lot of the knight's physical damage will be wasted because of evasion. And also, Medusa, if she cannot attack an enemy, she cannot stun an enemy with mana. Because if she attack you miss, you will not be getting mana, and you will be wasting critical attack. Notice here, I'm a little ducky did not position for the dragon, but it should be okay because he have enough 3 stars. Usually you want 1 unit out to position for the dragon. So yeah, that's not 6 assassin, that's alpha assassin for sure, my friend. Yeah, elf player. That's an alpha assassin with the 3-star queen though. <laughs> Troll Knights is such a strong comp. The Troll Knights should be strong, but the downside is such an HP disadvantage, he's going to be in big trouble. Yeah, that's an alpha assassin, that's right. That's why he went further, because alpha assassin needs to go up a level. If he's a 6 assassin, I think he would have stayed on level 8 and 9. I wonder if he's going to use the Lich here. 2 star Lich would be incredibly strong. Oh, that's a Lomdred. 3 star Lomdred versus 3 star Bat Rider pickup. Interesting. Now, Little Ducky here still has 30 gold. He is quite close to level 10 as well. That might be something game changing as well. Chess Fan changing his positioning. He wants to face the enemy by the looks of it. His anti mage is perfectly positioned. I hope. <laughs> Oh, the dudes have still got the spells off. Oh, Chessman is singing. Such a big pain. The Tide, though. Look at the Tide. Tide's like, I got this, buddy. But notice before there was not a 3-star Luna. Now there's a 3-star Luna that's perfectly protected. We're going to watch the Glaze bounce. It's a new move, guys. <laughs> Can she do it? Look at the Luna. Luna did it. On the other side, the chores won't convince me. Troll Knights. So this will be an epic showdown of the early mid game elves and the late game troll knights with incredible amount of three stars. That's four three stars versus five three stars actually. What a show match. Notice chess fans picking out the legendaries, he can sell them later. What he's looking for is a key pickup with the legendary. He did not find one, he's got multiple pairs. He even favors the Medusa. If you guys have seen it before, the clutch Medusa control is going to be so critical for the late game. The anti mage can't get his hands on Medusa. The Chaos Knight is perfectly protecting her, and each time Medusa stuns, that spells the end of the late game. Notice that Chess Fan is losing even when the Tide cast. What that means is if the Tide doesn't cast, he's in trouble. What I want to see if, if he switch his positioning. Right now he's losing massively. His lead is diminishing. 31% to 19% now. Very interesting. Let's see if he finds the Enigma. That That is one of the counters I say for Knights. Both players found the Enigma. That's a 2 star Enigma by the way. Chessman found the Enigma. So 4 Enigmas are used on the field now. 
This is why I say Enigma is by far one of the best units for the late game. Chess fan gave up on the beast, by the way. So, Enchantress 3 star is not that great in the late game. I am unsure about the positioning, but he didn't have Enigma before. With Enigma, maybe he can punish the bow up of the knights. Yeah, 2 star Enigma, guys. Massive. Enigma did not cast. If he cast it earlier, that could be incredibly strong. But being 2 star, he still casted after having a Chaos Knight smacking him. Both Enigma, Enigma casted. So, Chessman might still lose here, but maybe he'll win on offense. Let's have a look. Oh, 19 to 14%. Oh gosh. Looking at Chess fan not changing positioning, I feel he is going to be in trouble because Little Ducky knows his positioning works and he knows he can keep this up. If Chess fan don't try to pull them out, he's trying to force the Enigma onto them. If he doesn't pull them out, it's likely going to repeat the same thing. Having enough knights as 3 star, Chess fan is going to have a difficult time. Okay, this is the double camp. We'll be facing, we'll be looking at both players. This is chess fan on the left, while the knights is on the right. Enigma casted really early over here, and the dudes also stunned him. Notice here, for the defending side, the it's already secured here. Why did the defending side secure that Pi never casted? And again, the 3 star Luna and the 3 star Chaos Knights is too much for chess fan to go through. This is why we say knights are really strong in the late game for having the 3 star units, the Chaos Knight and the Luna are the key. That's more death profit. <laughs> Who needs more death profit? Notice he's not combining them because he wants them for gold. He can be selling them for gold if he doesn't combine them at full price. If he fuses them, he will actually lose gold because of that. Yeah, the positioning of the Enigma and Aldi is quite interesting. And maybe we can pull them out as well. This is the troll round. Just one might die to the troll, but with enough rage, maybe he can do it. Look at that. He put a tie back and put the put down a deuce for let's see Whoa, what's happening <laughs> one is starting a little slower than the other one i believe he's giving units as he finds them i love that you can see that over here he's giving units because because he can pass units now items now and by giving those units items they will fuse the next round one time earlier just finding didn't have enough time though he did find some nice items for the loser he also found a loser he locked for her i believe Again, Knights uses what works for them. If they're going to go back to the ball position, Deucer goes down. Let's see. Interesting. He can't let go of the Assassins. Uh, actually, he could let go of the Assassins, but he can't let go of the Queen of Pain. That the other Assassins are the six elves. <laughs> that troll. <laughs> that's a lifestealing troll, guys. That's four Master of Manners. Um, that's four Mask of Lifesteal. And he's got a Desolator on the Lunar. So that's a 35% life stealing troll with the warlocks, by the way. Because that's 25% stealing and <laughs> that's 35 life steal troll. <laughs> that troll is like a truck ton of life steal. And that Luna has got the Desolator. That's massive. I don't think chess fans got a chance. Not those units have those items. There you go. Chess fans dead. I'm gonna pause here. So the game ended by having the knights as the stronger late game. The knights are stronger because two things. He rolled before he leveled to level 10. He found crucial units to 3 star. Chaos Knight was the first one, followed by the Witch Doctor, Luna, and the Bat Rider. Four 3 stars, or four 3 stars with the knights is incredibly strong. And this is a troll knight like game. Also, the item matters as well. 35% life stealing on the troll with no burst damage on Chessman other than the Queen. It's, he's gonna life steal all of it back. And also, the Luna has a Desolator. Very well played by Chess Fan, having four or three assassins in the game. Chess Fan had a great lead, really good RNG by finding the Queen of Pain, and also the controls of the elves he pushed further. He went to level 10 so much faster to secure the top positioning. And unfortunately, the matchup did not fare well for us. Even with a two star Enigma, he could not do it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. To support me further, please like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. To support me on Twitch, please follow and please use your Twitch Prime here. Thank you again so much, guys, for all your support. I'll see you guys on YouTube next time. Take care, my friends.